Hello and welcome to CNBC TV18.com presents Bharat Trailblazers in association with Salesforce. I'm Ridhu Bhandari. On this very special series, we are shining the spotlight on some of India's most innovative micro, small and medium sized businesses. On the show today, we are talking about content marketing and learning how an AI powered content company can optimize its resources, increase productivity of its people and improve efficiencies using technology. Joining me to talk about all this and more is Harshit Vyas, Chief Business Officer of Pepper Content, a company that is disrupting the content space by harnessing emerging technologies. Welcome Harshit, thank you so much for joining us here today on Bharat Trailblazers. It's a pleasure to have you. Good to be here, Prithu. All right, so we're talking about content marketing today and uh, it's an industry that has evolved quite a bit in the last couple of years. What are some of the macro trends that you are observing, especially as we all move into a more digital first world? This is also a space that is seeing digitalization. Any big shifts that you're observing? It's a very interesting time to, do, to be in content marketing. For example, from being a sunrise industry in 2010 to be a hundreds plus dollars of opportunity, uh, in 2023, a uh, lot of things are changing. For example, now in terms of Google search algorithms which have changed, in terms of now different kind of formats which are available, different kind of data points which are available, now third party cookie deprecation. So there is just so many changes happening. So it's very important for brands to just see how these trends and are being enabled through content marketing platform. But there are three things that I want to highlight specifically. One is that now predictive analysis is available for what is the best content for your customers. Mm -hmm. Second is, there can be hyper-personalized journey depending on the behavior of the customer, de de depending on the demography, depending on the consumption. And third is the Gen AI, you know, that everybody is talking about. How that is being the enabler of efficiency in the content generation at every part of that. And the last point is the voice, uh, uh, you know, search option that is being provided in all platforms. How we integrate that in all the content generation journeys. I think these are the four big trends that we are seeing uh, all across. Yes, lots of lots of interesting shifts happening uh, there. So let's talk about Pepper content then. Uh, you know, like you said, content marketing is no longer just a sunrise sector. Uh, it's perhaps a little more evolved than that. It's a $400 billion industry across the world. Uh, give us a sense of what Pepper content does in terms of being backed by AI, how are you harnessing emerging technologies, uh, and how are you really disrupting this space that has actually been pretty traditional so far? Yeah, like we say, content is the new currency, right? So uh, either there are big agencies which are working with these brands, or they are freelancers, or they are just products which enable these brands to uh, create more content. But what we are making at Pepper is that combination of everything that how can you have strategy, talent, and technology available for these brands to disrupt uh, uh, their own industries. So at Pepper, the whole workflow of content creation, we are productized. Mm -hmm. We have also have you know, tailored content strategies for different in industries. Then third part is expert-led content. Mm -hmm. Even we are talking about cybersecurity, to BFSI, to healthcare. It is very tough to reach out to the right talent. And Pepper brings all of these things together at one platform. So that's you're saying that how we are making a full content marketing stack is, is the way Pepper is creating the new world. That's quite unique. And you also have uh, an AI powered content assistant called Pepper Type. What yes. does that content assistant do? What problems is it solving for us? Like we say, you know, it's a, while AI can give you an answer, the right, asking the right question is a new thing. Mm -hmm. So Pepper Type simplifies that. So for all different unique needs. If you want to have a blog, you want to have short form content, you want to have uh, social media captions. So Pepper Type has customized all these needs into multiple technology pieces and everything is available at your, uh, uh, you know, it's just a click away for you to generate. Very so, interesting, very interesting. Now. Every company today is a content company. You know, we used to say every company is a tech company. Every company is also a content company today. Uh, and Pepper Content feeds this content fuel to a lot of organizations, uh, irrespective of sector and scale. What have some of your biggest challenges been in scaling up this business? And uh, how has technology helped you scale faster and perhaps more securely with agility? Uh, so. The freelance ecosystem, you know, it just completely got revamped 
when the pandemic hit us, right? Now, and the content generation started happening at a very different scale. So what we did was that leverage this time to make sure that we are productizing everything. Mm. So you can't have a coordination with hundred thousands of creators across hundred cities in the world. And neither of those brands can, and none of that is possible without technology. Mm. So what Pepper has done is that invested a lot in technology and product, making a seamless workflow where all those creators, based on their capabilities, based on their availabilities, are available for all those brands to create content at scale. I think that's the uh, uniqueness and that's the challenge we have tried to solve uh, with technology. And what's been your biggest challenge in doing this? I think it's, it's very tough when you're doing this at scale. You also need different tools and technologies available mm -hmm. for your teams. While we have made a lot for the world, for example, you know, we work with about 2,500 plus unique customers. And within those customers, there are different POCs dif based on different content needs and different uh, geographies. Mm -hmm. So, you know, tools like Salesforce, where, you know, all those internal workflows, all that customer onboarding, all those brief creations, all those steps are so seamlessly managed mm -hmm. so that uh, we can up our productivity, we can better our customer experience. Right. So, particularly, you know, when it comes to your internal experiences, let's talk about customer relationship management uh, and, you know, how has that turned out for you? How has technology enabled that? And what are you envisioning for the future as far as CRM is concerned? In terms of CRM, uh, it's very important to track every stage. And every POC, every relation, we have to make sure that all data points are available mm -hmm. for all across the team members. So, what we have done is, we have integrated Salesforce with our internal platforms. So every data point, every reach out, every outbound motion, every inbound motion, every emailer that goes out happens to one central platform. Mm -hmm. And what we are envis envisioning for next 10 years is that how this data using our AI technology and integrated with tools like Salesforce, how do we better our reach? How do we make sure that our customers are able to create 10 times more content with 20 times more quality uh, is what we are trying to achieve. And already we are seeing that impact. Uh, for example, our conversions are about 20% higher. Our sales cycles have reduced by uh, 15%. And our outbound responses are about 2x from what it was earlier. Right, very interesting. Right, And what role does cloud play here uh, in terms of, you know, especially on the sales front for you? You know, sales, I mean, we, we have zillions of data points. Uh, in terms of all that content being stored, all the interactions that are happening. We have so many emailers and communication points, for example, to, uh, tools like Pardot from Salesforce, where all that goes out on a daily basis. And this is all cloud and technology helping us to enable that. Right. And today, generative AI is also transforming uh, marketing functions in particular. A lot of interesting things happening, not just chat GPT, uh, perhaps a lot more evolution happening every week uh, in this space. Give us a sense of, you know, what you think is going to be the future of content and content marketing as far as Gen AI is concerned. Uh, and at Pepper Content, are you leveraging generative AI yet for some of your tools? So we firmly believe that AI plus human is the real game changer for content marketing. In fact, we are, we are one of the first customers for OpenAI in India, and our platform called PepperType was deeply integrated with GPT, even 3.5, now 4, mm -hmm. uh, to enable the content generation. But what we see, especially in a creative space, you always need experts. But can their job be made easier is where AI comes in. For example, all the quality checks in place, brief adherence, plagiarism, in terms of factual accuracy, referencing of data points in just text content and also in video, how do you create now journeys and nudges to customers at scale is where we are leveraging AI, but we still firmly believe that creativity cannot be uh, uh, you know, done away without having creators uh, on board. Right. So yours is a high growth digital native business. Uh, how do you ensure that you keep on increasing your customer base, but you keep your teams lean and very highly productive? And what role does technology play there for you? I think everything is technology. There is no other answer that is possible. One, you have to have right team members, then train them better, and then give them productivity tools. For example, you know I can't uh, emphasize enough uh, on 
what role Salesforce like tools have played uh, the role in, in that productivity uh, increment. Give us some and examples. Just imagine, you know, you're reaching, like I said, sales funnel, top of the funnel, there are about 1,000 leads. Right. It is very difficult to just manage this on an Excel sheet that used to be like a decade, uh, 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 you know, old thing uh, in the past. Now, there are, of course, there are different CRM tools available, but how do you customize that to your industry, to your uh, specific needs, is where these tools with such flexibility in terms of customizations have come in. Now, we have our journeys defined, we have our touch points defined, we have our communication designed all across, you know, uh, just to meet our needs specifically to serve the way we serve our customers. So I think that has been a great, uh, you know, impactful change for us. Interesting. So looking ahead, what's the vision for Pepper content for say the next 10 years, or maybe 10 is too long, maybe five years, mm. <laughs> given that technology changes very, very quickly these days. Uh, mm. What's the North Star that you all are chasing? Our North Star is that we want to be the content factory of every enterprise in the world. Right? And I think we already work with 2,500 plus customers, but how can we be that one content partner which has the solution of every need of content generation and strategy for all the brands? I think sky's the limit. Uh, our market itself is expanding every week, like you're saying, and it's changing drastically. But you want know, to make sure that we grab every part of that. Right. Okay, so as a trailblazer of Bharat, uh, as we are calling you on this program, you know, what's your advice to other companies when it comes to embracing intelligent automation? Uh, you know, how can they enhance operational efficiencies? Any do's or don'ts that you want to share? I'll say adapt technologies early on. People always think that when I'll have large size teams, when I will have more complex operation is where I will adopt technology or tools like Salesforce Pardot. Right. But the idea is that how can that be scaled up from day one? Okay. The amount of training, the amount of uh, uh, you know, customization that is required for long term happens on the day one. Right. You can do 10 times more things. You can do serve your customers better. So I would say you have to be the early adopter uh, rather than just waiting for the right scale to pitch in. All right, be an early adopter. That's the advice from uh, Harshit Vyas of Pepper Content. With that, it's a wrap of this edition of Parrot Trailblazers. We'll be back next time with yet another inspiring story of a company that embodies innovation and is contributing towards the India growth story. Thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye.